mean, there has been times on the earth where people fought each other for oil. In the future, people predicted that we will fight each other for water. But no, we will fight each other for GP. <laughs> this is <laughs> the most precious resource we could find on our planet. It's glory points. Door. I had sometimes people around that said don't scout the first ring. That is tough. That is really, really tough. Forest. Nice. So vibing again. We even have the shipwreck on top here. Pretty, pretty good. Two food sources. Also very good. Forest over there. All pretty nice. We just got to keep in mind to not build too much stuff on the coastal tiles. Like our eco should be on non-coastal. Most of it at least. doesn't attack us we could probably get attacked over here because it seems like a wolf cave oops i love to help i love to help generally especially when the raven needs the help there to get all the lore early into the game The zoo is having a tough time now. <laughs> That's what I mean. First ring is a lot to ask. I'm fine here. Like as soon as I get my lore on board, I need until like simple living hits anyway, right? As soon as simple living hits, I want to do other stuff. But until then, I'm free for most stuff. Yep, that would have been a quick chief. Oh no. First. Uh, get us lodge, even though we don't really need it. No. Yeah, we have a raven. Like, if there are neutrals on the map, we'll find them relatively quick. Question is, what do I build on the coast now? Must be camps then, right? We're going with relic this game? Nah. It's the relic, like, I guess it's the jar, right? But where's the happiness coming from? 
usually always trade more. It's quick gold, it's a lot of gold. And we might get rushed later on. Yeah. The neutral trade always seems like the safest way to end up in a very, very good eco situation. The jar? I guess it's possible. Like, if people do it. And it always seems like you're really forcing it in. The stack clan is so strong with the relic because you just naturally, when you have the skulls out, which you usually want to have anyway, you're gonna have a high amount of happiness. You just do it a little bit earlier than you would do on other clans. On most other clans, like horse and everything, I feel like it's so forced. You get the brewery up, you have two villagers that do nothing because they sit in your happiness now, uh, in your brewery. To give you the boost for the jar that you really really needed to work hard for didn't play around with it too much yet so i can't say if it's like generally a good or a bad idea but it doesn't feel like a good fit let's say right maybe it's so strong that you can play it on everything and it doesn't matter but then I can tell you it is 150% going to be changed in the next patch. <laughs> if you can just play it regardless which clan you are and uh, that you always just build a brewery to make up that it's not actually a good fit for your clan. Because you're not a high happiness clan like Kraken, uh, Dag, whatever. I guess even Rat could think about it, right? Just a high happiness clan. Are we getting there? I'm just checking out if he's actually still scouting that I end up with neutrals here. Spottering is not that far away anymore when the ruin hit. Somewhere in the winter. Somewhere in the winter. Really like to start more or less instantly. Other than that, my eco is just looking great for now. Two stones even. A whole bunch of stone. I guess we could relatively easy go for iron. Because we have so much resources anyway. So we get the merchant upgrade like relatively early into the game. What up, Rose? on stone is actually also a little bit overkill tiny bit overkill Second one on iron. We've got another one over there. And we don't really need to finish that because we don't have neutrals yet anyway. Would be more or less a worthless building for us. That's bartering. Wolf attack. Not great.
I actually get healers. Why not? You got new jewels. Yikes, we only have cobalt on the map. Trade with them. The funny question. Boar is actually one of the clans which didn't change that much and is around for like six years already. Yeah, I have. Have you ever played the 800 Ultra Boar before? <laughs> Would be absolute trash nowadays. But if you want to rush right now, double altar boar, yeah, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Did you ever play the double altar boar before? Didn't you? Doesn't work anymore, right? Well, back then, like, every clan were basically playing double altar because we're just broken. You got simple living, right? You got simple living. You just went instantly for the stone. Uh, you had one or two docks up to get the 300 gold and 150 wood then because of simple living. Were really easy to get. And back then you still got a plus two on all resources for the altar and it didn't change. Uh, so yeah, you could still very much do that. Double altar were just, I build, for example, the altar on this tile. I build it there. And I give over the tile to my teammate, Silos Brad. Just give him a tile for one second. Build another altar over here. And as soon as I place the foundation, he could give me the tile back. And I would have two altars, basically. Yeah, basically. Also took some time until all the clans did that, though. We had trading meta. A lot of metas that were really one-sided because most of the clans did the same stuff. This is why I don't really like... If every clan goes for the relic right now, for the Gamefuse Jar, I'm not really going to go for it with every clan because, uh, yeah, I feel like if it stays like... It won't stay like that. Like, no strategy that were used generally, universally around a lot of clans has ever been staying around for more than a few months. Going for the relic. He's rushing. Oh. Yeah, let's keep the eyes up. Um a little bit more gold production. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting the bear there, not a bad idea. The wolf 
of tank. Okay. Honestly, 801 rush, I go bodyguard. At me. Very upgrade. The iron will be done soon. Yikes. Well, I hope you can catch up somehow. Mm. This, oh, I don't really need that guy. I'm sorry, Lodge. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can break down my scout camp. For what? For what, huh? For what? We need that. Beer would actually be worth one warband. But that means I need to go for that tile there. That easy to snack. What's up, Petweet? Hello. The Pinkerton. Good afternoon. I'm not too sure. I don't play that much against AI, to be honest, Pinkerton. Mr. Floyd. I rarely play against AI. I could imagine it, but... Uh, uh, let's wear it on it. I'm just gonna build camps on my shore, because like the raven will start raiding me, and if I have a gold building on here, the raven will get gold for raiding me. So, these buildings I have on there actually give them anything i could get a lot of food for this because there's a food building on the shore the least buildings you actually have on the shore the less you can actually do about it not even 200 that's why coming straight for me doesn't seem like it it's mostly like clearing out stuff and going towards the raven right how much warriors are this and i just double click a warrior not if they move all the time nine My dishwasher is done. Now beeping all five seconds for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be annoying. I 
Uh, fame can be helpful. Your shield in there, baby. for us don't really pressure on a lot of tiles though oh my god my chief is just teeth and bones pretty sure he can push out a new army relatively soon We don't have a path here, it's a little bit. A downer. Very interesting. Because the lore is also on there. Got a few one in there. Raven incoming. Chiefs should still stay at home, I guess. I'm stuck. Dude, this fight won't be going to our side here. Ratenhut is starving big time. Maybe not big time, but he's starving. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Yikes. Know what he went with. He went with Doc, full Doc Boar. Not bad. Second healer in there. Actually, then some. My camps are all that far away. That will. You like that? We're needed. No.
Yep, GG well played. I don't think it were more diff though. At all. We still at the stats afterwards. But I feel like for us going for relatively different strategies there, we ended up at the very, very same -ish spot. You had the bear. Like, this is uh, top. Oh. Yeah, we were doing very same ish. I feel like my gold is just better when I trade. Like I'm gonna be a little bit faster. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the first ring just gotta be scouted maybe by the horse. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, this is the bear, right? This is the bear on top here. That one unit? That is one unit, yeah. The bear, and we have the same military unit. So the bear on top of there is worthy. This is basically what 200 will give you. Then I would have needed to take another tile on top of that, though, so I can actually tame the bear. Because it's then on my own territory. It's all good, it's all good. We're a pretty good game. I think we were relatively uh, doing relatively well. I feel like it's nice to show a little bit. Even if you have a smurf <laughs> in game, uh, that it doesn't mean that the game is like fully one sided. I feel like if we would have reacted better on the first push there, uh, we could have maybe not won the game, but did, a, did do enough damage so we can then survive the next push and then maybe win the game in the following push. Because I also don't think that the other Raven and uh, Horse in the other team were flawless, basically. Like one thing that were very, 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 very brave by Zizu were uh, building the altar that were extremely brave okay okay well the first push went really well like um Rapnu to well so starving probably just because he got his army a little bit earlier than mine and I were already thinking about dang his food is getting low <laughs> Uh, my food was also dropping, definitely. This blue food, we're done. Ah, uh, I don't know. You're doing relatively well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, around here, right? You got full sick. That's where I felt like, hmm, maybe, maybe we have a shot. But uh, you microed relatively well. Got my army out of the uh, equation, basically, while the big fight, and. Sort of back forward. Yeah, indeed, relic less game, definitely. But if you want to go 801, a relic will definitely break your neck. <laughs> relic and altars are not really a part of the game when you do an 801 game. I feel like if it goes on longer, I feel like I have a little bit of the upper hand with the neutral trade. Because I feel like neutral trade is a little bit stronger than the shipbuilding build. While the shipbuilding build lets you be get a better push earlier, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Guess next time, just, just get your first ring, man. Just get your first ring. Should not get baited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But I needed to get my army out, right? Like, I needed to do something, otherwise the raven just gets killed. And if the other boar pops out an army, I need to pop out an army. 
which isn't too bad like then me and pirat nuhut are basically running around poking a little bit like we're most likely not gonna engage into a full-on fight most likely because i don't want <laughs> because i know he has the same amount of army plus the bear on top there so i'm not gonna go into a 1v1 fight there i'm just gonna try to not let him push into me right as long as i'm standing in a towel and he wants to push in i'm safe like one bear is not gonna make the difference there because he has a great disadvantage pushing into me but i'm never gonna like go full of for fa fair fight i'm always gonna try to make unfair fights for him and push him back a little raven gold i guess uh yeah yeah what i mean and then we basically like i don't know if the raven pop were all to need it there but i also don't think it were a mistake like we we pushing there i don't think were a full-on mistake because we were not that far away from making that push work honestly we were not that far away mm, so yeah drop out also a little bit unfortunate on how many tiles we needed to take there to actually do pressure like good uh colonization there from uh, piratenhood that we're not Having two tiles to main, to, like just one tile and then right into main, which will happen to a lot of players in 801 games. That their main is just too easily accessible and then we're straight in there and maybe the, opponent, uh, the other opponents can't even react.